Today is a very special day because we get to witness the birth of a new pedal. Here it comes. Oh, it's the, it's the Super Funk by Solid Gold of X out of Canada. Let's do this. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Gregor and today we have my buddy Andreas Buchmann on bass. And here it is, the Super Funk, which is of course an envelope filter, but it's actually a bit more than that. Solid Gold calls it a B filter, which means it's two filters. But not like here, which is uh, the super amazing Electro Harmonix B filter. You tune it, but you have uh, two completely separate envelope filter units that you can control individually and then mix together in a few different ways and even add an LFO, which is really cool. The Super Funk follows a different concept. <laughs> Yes, Andreas brought his electric upright and I thought, why not? And this might seem a little bit random, but I'm honestly very surprised how well the Yamaha and the Superfunk work together. Really cool, needs to be investigated. However, uh, so what's the deal with the two filters? Easy, filter number one is the one that you adjust with these control here. And the second one is actually hidden as a function and it's called color. The idea behind the Superfunk is deliberately not using a dry wet mix because Greg from Solid Gold FX great name by the way, as says that he didn't want to water down the envelope effect, which is of course brilliant, but we bass players we need all low end. So he just added this low pass filter, which is also triggered by the envelope. So it's a it's a full envelope filter and this is one super fat and allows you to get all the low end that you need, but a cool one. And this results in a very powerful sound, which is just fatter than most other envelope filters out there. So let's try this out. Uh, let's try the sound with uh, no low end with a bit with some and lots. I mean, you know the drill. <laughs> So yes, it adds a lot of low end and a little bit of dirt. But if you set the control below 12 a quack, a quack, <laughs> you get more traditional funky quack quack sounds. <laughs> now let's check the other controls. Depth adjusts the peak of the envelope filter. The more you dial it in, the more extreme the effect will get. Filter frequency adjusts the center frequency of the filter sweeps. On the left we have our sweeps in the lower registers, which you would use for fat bottom juicy bass sounds. Turn to the right and we're getting more on the high end kind of territory. Sensitivity controls how hard you have to play to trigger the filter. You can set it up in a way that it reacts to every little thing and every note you're playing, but you can also set a certain threshold that only triggers the effect when you play at a higher intensity. Output is of course our overall output volume. In the middle sits this little toggle called direction. This changes the direction of the sweep. It's either forward or reverse. Let's try this. <laughs> I really dig how this pedal sometimes sounds a little bit like a talk box or a vocoder. And I think if you're setting it upright and you bury it in the mix in just the right way, you can make your sound guys go crazy because they will not understand where this weird background vocals are coming from. That sounds like a lot of fun. I 
I really dig this pedal. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love almost all envelope filters. That's one of my biggest obsessions, I guess. But uh, they are not all alike, obviously. And this one here is special. It sounds amazing. For me, it goes straight to the top. It might be not the best envelope filter out there, but that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for something unique, for something special, something new. And this one definitely has something in store for us. The color uh, thing instead of the dry wet mix, I think it's brilliant. I will use it. I mean, it's, it's good. One thing that I noticed during the recording session and that I really want to mention is that this pedal seems to take away a little bit of your top end and I mean like the top end, top end. Most bass players don't really use or have even these frequencies. Uh, some deliberately dial them out because they find them annoying. Um, but if you're the type of player who lives in full range country and wants to have these modern hi-fi full range sounds, this might not be the best pedal for you. I personally, I'm one of those guys usually, but here I don't mind because it sounds amazing. And when I use a pedal, I'm committing to that sound and uh, I'm using effects to sound different. So that's my philosophy, share it or not. However, cool pedal. Thanks, Greg, for sending this over, amazing. Uh, yeah, if you have any questions, as always, put them in the comment section below. We will gladly get back to you. And otherwise, I guess, see you next week with a new video. T like this video. Subscribe. I don't know what I'm doing here. Bye-bye.